I've got the Skechers Speed Elite Hyper with me today. I want to show you inside this shoe because there's a lot happening. It's an extremely lightweight shoe, but they've stripped this back to almost the bare essentials, made it see-through, made it exceptionally lightweight, but they added carbon fiber. What Skechers did with this one though is they didn't go with the full length plate like a lot of companies are. And that is the way that Nike really started this kick off with their Vaporfly line of shoes. Skechers didn't want to do that. They talked about not putting a full length plate in and going with these little winglets in the front, mostly to reduce weight, but also to allow the shoe to flex and bend a little bit laterally. Super lightweight foam, we'll get a closer look at. Very little rubber. And again, those carbon fiber winglets are really unique in what we're seeing in the running space right now. When you heel strike, there's not much foam underneath the, uh, the foot to really cushion your, your blow. So this isn't the most comfortable shoe, but it is lively. When you get to your toes, you feel this rolling sensation. This curved carbon fiber plate really pushes you out onto your toes and really gives you that explosive toe off. One thing that we noticed in wear testing these shoes is there's not much material below this carbon fiber. So this isn't gonna be a highly durable shoe. One of our wear testers actually just shredded the outside of his shoe and he was actually running on carbon fiber after just 150 miles of training. Most people will toe off by coming over their big toe and that's where that rubber is to give you that little extra durability. So if you come out over your pinky, just know that uh, you're not gonna get a lot of mileage out of these. Make sure you save them for race day. We're gonna take a look and show you what's happening in here and how that's happening. So this was a lot of fun to cut this shoe open. It's really deceiving if you're looking at it from the outside because you look at the heel and you think, that looks pretty thick, it's probably pretty soft back there, right? And then you look at this big slab of carbon here and you think, man, this forefoot's gotta be so rigid and stiff. And when you open it up, you see that's actually not the case. Looking back, this, the heel is actually really thin back here. It's, it's not nearly as thick as the midfoot. The midfoot's where you're gonna to wanna to be landing on this shoe because that's where the, most of the foam is right there. It really encourages you to get toward the forefoot better. If you land back here on the heel, that's where I feel it. It feels a little hard and like there's not much under there, so stay off that heel. But then you get to the forefoot and you realize, as I said, right through the middle of the shoe, there's no carbon fiber really there. It's not a full length plate. There's just this little uh, connector that runs through the middle of the shoe. So it's not this big thick piece that goes all the way across. And that is a carbon infused piece there. You look at this um, from here, and when I try to flex it this way, it's still really stiff there across that carbon piece, but um, there's nothing through the middle of the shoe. Uh, really, really simple execution throughout the midsole here, except for that forefoot piece. And I wanted to cut it across the other way to really kind of give you a sense of, okay, where does that sit? How does it look? And when we open it up, it's really cool. You see the piece that runs through the middle. It's just really thin. It's not wide. It's just really thin right through across there. But what's neat about looking at these, these winglets here is you can see they're not really just uniform thickness, sort of a banana shape. They actually are a little taller in some ridges and thinner in places. It actually bends through the middle of the shoe pretty easily across this little piece. But when you try to bend the shoe lengthwise as you would toe off, that's where you get the resistance. So you can actually bend and get a little, good, a little bit of comfort out of that. So it's a really neat execution in that forefoot and you feel that rounded shape as you get going forward. As I said, the shoe is really lightweight and it's, it's interesting to see it from the inside. You can see right through this upper. It was really neat as I hit the little um, grid shape pattern here, every time I hit one of these threads, the bandsaw would snap, 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 snap across it. You can just kind of get the sense of the strength of that material on there. So when you lace this thing up, it really locks your foot in well. So that's a look inside the Skechers Speed Elite Hyper. It's a really lightweight, go fast shoe. It only costs $190, which is a bit less than a lot of these super shoes out right now, but it doesn't sacrifice for performance at all. So what do you think? Have you been in the shoe? Have you run in it? We wanna hear what you think, or if you have any other questions, feel free to leave those in the comments below, and don't forget to hit subscribe so you stay up to date on all the latest from Runner's World.